today we celebrate the feast of Our Lady of Fatima. Our Lady of Fatima is the Blessed Virgin Mary's title given in connection with her apparitions to the three shepherd children in Fatima, Portugal, during World War I. Each year we celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Fatima on May 13th, which is the first day as she appeared to Lucha and her cousins Jacinta and Francisco Marto in 1917. Our Lady appeared to the three children once a month over the next six months in 1917, and she continued to appear to Lucha many times after that. While the story of these apparitions has garnered attention for its secrets, prophecies, and miracles, at its heart the message of Our Lady of Fatima is a simple one. Pray. In her apparitions, Mary asked the children to pray the rosary every day to bring peace to the world which was at war. She instructed them in devotions, including asking them to add the Fatima prayer, O my Jesus, forgive us our sins and save us from the fires of hell and lead all souls to heaven as she those most in need of thy mercy to the end of each decade of the rosary. And she asked them to make sacrifices and offer their suffering for the salvation of sinners and for the world. Many people have heard of the secrets of Fatima. There are three of these so-called secrets which were parts of the message Mary revealed to the shepherd children that were not immediately made public. This is especially true with the third secret of Fatima, which Lucha only revealed when directly ordered to do so by her bishop and was not made public until 1960. These three secrets are, number one, a vision of hell. Huh? Number two, a prediction of the end of World War I and a prediction of the beginning of a worse war, understood as World War II, as well as a call to consecrate Russia to the Immaculate Heart of Mary as a way to bring peace. Number three, a vision of the Pope along with other bishops, priests, religious, and lay people being killed by soldiers. The church, in, the church has taken this not as a specific prophecy, which has or will come true, but in the words of Pope Benedict XVI, a vision speaking of dangers and how we might be saved from them. He said it is meant to mobilize the force of change in the right direction. So, let us pray. O oh my Jesus, forgive us our sins, save us from the fires of hell, and lead all souls to heaven especially those most in need of your mercy. God bless you one and all. Let us continue to pray. Amen.